The wait is over and the Ryzen 9 7800X3D is now here. A cut down version of the 7950X3D, it promises to bring all the gaming performance while only sacrificing productivity. Is it everything we had hoped it would be or is this product dead on arrival? One quick thing to call out here is that we are testing all of our Ryzen chips with DDR5 6000 CL36 memory. These latest AMD chips are notoriously picky when it comes to RAM speed, so if you do have something faster than this, especially in the CL department, you may get better results than we do. And for graphics, we are testing with NVIDIA RTX 4090. Starting off with the 4K gaming performance results, and as expected at 4K, while the Ryzen 7 7800X does do very well, the top four CPUs are all within a percentage point, so not much between them. Once you drop down to 1440p though, the 7800X3D does start to pull away. It's about 3% faster than the 13900K, about 5% faster than the 7950X3D with the same memory speeds, and almost 17% faster than the outgoing 5800X3D. A wide enough gap that I couldn't even fit it here on the screen. Turning on PBO would net you about 2% more in performance. Moving down into a more CPU limited 1920 by 1080, and we are now seeing that the Ryzen 7 7800X3D is about 5 to 6% faster than the other flagship processors. Compared to the more entry level Ryzen 5 7600, which in most cases matches the 5800X3D, it is about 20% faster. Enabling PBO would net you roughly 3% extra performance. Moving down into the never actually used in real life 720p and the Ryzen 7 7800X3D is pretty much the same, about 5-6% to faster than the competition. At this resolution, even with the 4090, we are still GPU limited in some scenarios, so if you were to lower some of the settings down from Ultra, you might see an even bigger difference. All the performance in the world though, in gaming does not necessarily help you in applications. And this is where we see the Ryzen 7 7800X3D fall for the first time. With the Core i9-13900K and the Ryzen 9 7950X being over 35% faster than this new chip. This does though bring home exactly where AMD has positioned this chip. It is for gaming and not for anything else. That's not really to say that it's slow since it does match the outgoing last generation Ryzen 9 5950X, but it does fall well short of its more contemporary competition. Until you look at power consumption. Like the 5950X 3D, the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D really sips power for what it's bringing to the table in terms of performance. 49 watts while gaming is practically nothing. There are probably some people out there who still have a light bulb above their head that is using more watts than that. But knowing how the performance is on this particular CPU, it is no surprise then that the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D is the undisputed king of performance and efficiency while gaming. And really it's not even that close. The next best CPU, the Ryzen 9 7950X3D, is about 20% less efficient. And the Core i9-13900K is much, much less. This newfound efficiency doesn't really hold true when you're using it for applications, and in this case looking at Cinebench, but if you're worried about that then you should not really be shopping for this particular CPU. But if you do want the fastest gaming CPU available with the most efficiency available, then the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D is it. 